Sobe. Sobe. Sorry. Um, can you make sure you close my door back, please? Sorry. Anyways, guys, we are back with another video. It's me, Vanis Monroe. Don't forget it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss this story time. So, yeah, everyone keeps telling me to share this story time. So, yeah. I hope you're not offended me by this video. <laughs> if you know it's about you, it's about you. So, yeah. So this story time is the time that I got finessed and played by a South Londoner, wherever you are. So boom. Oh, wait, I can't believe I just said so boom. Um, quote that. So let's get into it then. I got my glasses on because, you know, I'm cool. Shout out to Bob because, you know, you hooked me up. So yeah, let me get serious. Let me take off my glasses because I need to be serious right now. So yeah. So yeah, let's go back like a year or two. Let's say that a year or two or probably even, I, can't, I think it's like two years ago from now. I've tried to erase this from my mind, so I'm guessing it's like two years from now. Two years. Okay. So yeah. Two years ago, I met this guy at a, let's say, a uni rave. At the time... I wasn't at uni, so yeah, everything was all new to me. I was seeing all the uni people out of on moves. At the time, I was like, whoa, people at uni move mad. So I'm at the uni rave now, and then um, it was more or less like near to the end of the event, and then um, my dad was coming to pick me up, and then he was there with like some of his friends. Um, so what are we going to name this dude now? <sighs> For frick's sakes, I have to name him. Let's call him Mill. <laughs> Let's just call him Mill. Yeah, his name's Mill. So I was at the club now with um, Mill. <laughs> obviously, that's not his name, but obviously, that's what I'm just calling him because I'm not really about to be on YouTube banging at people's names. So yeah, we was at the end of the uni rave and we met him. I was with like two of my other friends, and then they were like, um, he was there. And he was like, oh, where are you guys from? He's from like Brom. Did do that? Like, how are you getting home? And then he was like, I was like, my dad's dropping us all home. And then he was like, oh, he's going back with his friend. Da 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 da. da. And I just cut the show short because I don't like when things you don't need to say things that you don't need to say. So yeah. So my dad came and picked us up now. And then I, he was basically he was like, oh, what's your number? And whatever. So at some like I'll give him my number. So I gave him my number. He was cute. Oh, but don't give him my number. So I gave him my number now. And then. Um, he had like a blowers and I was like, really, you're making me give you my number and you're putting it to your blowers, not even an iPhone or anything. I'm not being high my S1%, not even an iPhone, Samsung, nothing, a blowers, that's the only phone that you have. But I was like, you know, I'm not going to say anything because you, you don't know what anyone's going through, you could have broke his phone or anything. So I was like, cool, he, um, I gave him my number and he ringed it and he said that was his number, so I was like, cool. And then, um... He was like, he talked to me later. So we went outside now, and then that's when we saw him. And then he was walking down the road with like two other girls and his friend. And I was just like, you know, you give people your number, and then you see them do something trash. And you're just like, why did I ever give you my number? But I was like, you know, I'm not sweating it. Like, there's plenty of niggas out there for everyone. You know what I mean? Like, there's plenty of fish in the sea. So that didn't even bother me. I didn't even care. So then we left the club now. Went home. It was like two days later. I was on my way back home from work. And then he must have texted me. And then from then we basically just started texting each other and then we was FaceTiming each other. And obviously at the time he lived, he, obviously he lives in London, but he came down to Birmingham for the uni rave with his friend. So from then, after then we was just talking, talking, talking. And then I think it was one of my friend's friend's birthday and he was going down to London to celebrate his birthday. So my friend was like, do you want to come? And then I was like, but I haven't seen mine yet. So I was like, you know, I can kill two birds with one stone. So... Obviously, I was going down for the friend's birthday and I was going to go see him when I went down to London. So I was like, cool, we're coming down. Cut the story short, we didn't end up going down for the boy's birthday because something happened with the boy, so we didn't end up going down for his birthday. But obviously, we'd already bought our train ticket and everything, so me and my friend was like, we still want to go down there, so we was like, what are we going to do? So in the end, we just ended up booking our own hotel and then we went down there and then... <laughs> My friend, she bought the hotel in some next city, not even next city, next, like, place. We didn't even know where it was in London. He was like, I was like, why would you bought this? She's like, oh, I don't know. I just pick, picked any of booking.com. So, I was like to him, we don't know where we're going. And he, where he was like, oh, from, Lon from Houston, 
that's like it's not down the road so I was like shit what are we gonna do so he was like oh, I'll pick you guys up from um, the train station and I'll go there with you to show you so I was like okay thanks so I was met at the train station and if you're not from London even if you are from London nobody can not lie to me and tell me that the London accent on guys is not pink so obviously every time he's talking to me like it's sounding like out this world Listen, from when you're used to speaking to Brum guys and all their accents are shit and then you go to a Londoner and you listen to their accent, trust me, you will be gagging. You'll be in this lush. So anyways, back to the story. So we went down there. He was all like in his accent. I don't even know how to do this. I don't, because I don't want any of these silly Londoners coming for me at my accent me trying to do London accent. So I'm not even going to try. But yeah, he was just like, oh, you look so nice. Da -da -da, you look pink. So I was just like, oh. You know, <laughs> you know how it is already, so I'm not even going to get into it. So then, he starts paying, so he's all just like, you know, just like, hmm, <laughs> blushing, whatever. Then, we got to the hotel now, and then, we already had brought, like, drink and stuff and that, because we was actually going to the boy's, like, apartment for his birthday. So we already had drink and stuff, and he was like, you know what, we might as well buy some more drink. So we went to go buy some, um, two of them went to go buy more drink. So the other two went to go buy drink. Bearing in mind, guys, I haven't told you part this this part yet, but I'm gonna get to it. There's like loads of parts. When he took my number, he didn't ask for like no social media, he didn't ask for no Instagram, no Snapchat, no Twitter, no he, he was messaging me off. It was on messaging off iMessage and and bloody um and we just FaceTime each other. And he said he never had no Insta. Yeah, no Insta, no Snapchat, and he said he never had no Twitter. So he don't, he's not on no social media, so this is where I should have seen the red flags already, but I was already in the lush. I was already in this mad lush, so I didn't even get to, I didn't even get to think about it like that. I just thought, you know what, maybe he's just not on social media, he don't do things like that, like, you know what I mean? Like, he just was, he said he was a personal shopper, so he said he just does business stuff, like, he tries to, like, sell off, um, social media. So I didn't think anything of it, you know, I didn't think anything of it at the time. So it wasn't until we got to the hotel, and then I'm seeing him on Snapchat. But I thought you said you don't have Snapchat, so how how have you got Snapchat now? He was like, oh, I just downloaded it back today. Oh, okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> people, people, I was like, mm, okay, I was like, okay, then you can add me on Snapchat then. And then, I can't even remember what happened, but I think that, like, the boy, came, his friend came back and my friend came back, so it was kind of like... They came back and then it was like it kind of just got left there. Like we, he was just like, all right, I'll add you later. And then we kind of he didn't add me back at the time. Like you know, what I mean, there was so much going on. We was like drinking and everything, laughing and joking. So obviously the night was good. Like we were spending time together. I mean, everyone was just laughing and joking. Like it was actually a fun time. I can't lie. So then his birthday was in like three days after that. So then um, I was like obviously chilling and saying happy birthday, whatever. So then I think I must have missed his FaceTime before he went on to the place. So I was like, oh, text me. When you get to, um, text me when you get to, come, where is it going? Bar I think Barcelona for his 19th birthday. So I was like, oh, text me when you go into, uh, when you get to land or whatever, because I missed his phone call before he left. And then, and it's enough. Then it was his birthday, I think, the next day or whatever. And I was like, oh, happy birthday. Um, hope you enjoy your day, whatever. Um, text me or phone me when you can. Then it must have been like the third day into his holiday, and I'm seeing red, red read all messages am i a dickhead for you to be reading all my messages and not replying to me because my mum didn't raise no dickhead for you big big you to be blanking me me let me moses no that didn't run so i'm texting back like so you're really gonna blank my messages then and i didn't see nothing again it was just red so i said you know i'm not even gonna say anything i'm just gonna wait for you to come back because then you have no excuse then you know what i mean so then it kept, got to like saturday and he was like oh babes and i've had no internet um it cost me to chart it cost me out there to um use my internet and everything so you know i was like cool you know what i mean some places especially if you don't it depends on what network you're on as well so you know i was, I was just justifying this boy so much time so much times it it angers me to the point right now so those bare times i was just like you know okay cool whatever then it gets to like a few weeks later so his birthday was december december i can't remember like in the teens or something so obviously this was near to like um so after then we was just kind of like talking whatever and obviously 
he kind of was a bit distant because he was like, oh, I've got, um, what did he say? He's like, oh, I've got a lot of orders right before Christmas. I haven't got time to do this. Then he must pop me and said, oh, I'm going to, um, I'm coming to Berms. I'm coming to Berms because he's got to do some order. He's got some orders down here. So I was like, oh, okay, then we can link up, whatever. Then he was like, oh, whatever day. I was like, oh, I've got work in the evening, so we link up before. He's like, okay, cool. I'm getting coached down here. Um, I'm getting coached down here and then we can link up or something. So I was like, cool. Then he was like, oh, babe, something's wrong with my card. <laughs> Another red card, another red card I should have saw come in. Then he was like, something's wrong with my card. And I was like, what? But at the time, he was like, oh. At the time, I didn't really think any of, I think anything of any of this, trust me. I didn't think, any, I was too busy stuck in this lush. So then, he comes back to me now and he's like, oh, my card's not working. Um, Could you um just pay for this train ticket off your card to come to Bams and then when I link you, like, basically we'll sort it out and I think so at the time I'm just like I had the cash you know what I mean so I'm not gonna be selfish to say no you know what I mean like we was talking so I was just like yeah of course I think the ticket was like 16 pounds so I was like of course I'll give it to you you know what I mean it's nothing it's not that serious so then he what's it good again takes he basically I tell him over the confirmation or whatever then it comes to the day and I message him where are you da, 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 like what time does you like coach come in whatever then he was like um then, what did he say now? No, he still didn't message back. He didn't say anything saying like, oh, I'm coming in at this time, whatever. No message. So now I've gone to work now, I've come back in and he's like, oh, sorry, I've, I've just only seen the messages now. How have you only seen the messages now? Like, I'm texting you right now, you've only seen the messages now. So I'm like, when did you come to Burns? Did you even come to Burns? No message. So I'm like, you know what, I'm sick and tired of this dude. Like, he's pissing me off. Like, he's doing too much. Like, you're doing too much for me, you know what I mean? Like, it's really not that deep. At the time, he wasn't even the only guy that was on my case. So it's like, you really, like... Why am I doing all this? Why am I doing all of this for you? Like, it's re I don't really need this in my life. So, I kind of stopped speaking to him for a bit. And then, um, one of my friends went to uni and she went to Leicester. So, I was like, oh, let me speak to her, whatever, and, like, ask her advice on it. So, I asked her advice on it, whatever, and I was like, he don't have no social media. She's like, girl, you don't have no social media. And I was like, yeah, no social media. She's like, nah, that seems dodgy. That seems dodgy. So, then, now... <laughs> Guys, I hope you're ready for this because this is the whammy. This is the massive part of the story now. So, I hope you're ready. So, it's New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yep. You hear that? New Year's Eve. I haven't really spoke to him properly like this since probably like a week or two. Like, it's probably been like, I don't know if you're right, cool. You know what I mean? Normal conversations like that, but nothing serious. So, it's New Year's Eve now. My friend's at work and she texts me and she goes, Oh my gosh, I found the guy you're talking to on Twitter. I said, Huh? You did what? You found him. So pass me his at now. So this guy, he wasn't really smart because he tried to lie and say that he never had no social media, but you was posting up stamina, hashtag stamina event in Leicester with a picture of you and your brethren. If you were trying to be low key and not make anyone find out that you had anything, why would you do that where other people can find you? That was very stupid of you. So, you know what I mean? That was dumb. So then, my friend sent it over to me. I'm going back through his feeds. I'm going back weeks and stuff. I'm like, oh, so this guy's lied to me. So he ain't got no sh social media and he's got Twitter. So I'm going back and see the stamina post. Then it goes to his birthday and he's like, oh, happy 19th birthday to me. Da -da -da. Bear in mind, you said you never had no internet when you was on holiday, so you're a dickhead. Boom. Two, I'm scrolling down, he's there replying back to people saying happy birthday to him. Da -da -da -da. Then, I scroll down even more, and then I see this dude, he's posting up with champagne. Listen, this, let me just redirect how Mima's moving in this Twitter post. One second. My man is in this post now. Drinking his sha- Listen, I need to get a glass or something. My man is in the video now. Sitting down, topless, on the bed in Barcelona. With his shot. Uh, listen, I ain't got no glass right now, so I have to use my more from the drink. I'll just drink it off. So, my man's got his champagne now. My man's there like this. Sitting down, sieving. Um, playing tunes now with his phone, they're snapping, whatever, like this. My man's there now, whatever. 
two twos now i'm like cool you know what i mean he's enjoying himself whatever bim bam two twos now my man flips around the camera on a mad one you see some girl on the balcony some girls some any black girl on the balcony you know nothing special you know she's got on some like sexy like laundry or whatever and she's got the champagne in her hand whatever and like she basically like puts it up in the air like a little bit up in the air and that to say like toast into these two and then he turns it back on him am i a dickhead am i a dickhead i was out here buying train tickets for you to come down to Bromley, you didn't even come two for you for you a big man like you to not even say that you had a tingle or anything like are you stupid are you stupid and lying saying you don't have twitter and then you put it on twitter if you're trying to be low-key and not make people know things why are you putting it on social media where you can get found people know that you can't just be any and anyone and not get found like listen things get found out anywhere so boom i found a video now I didn't even say anything, I didn't say anything for a second. I just thought, you know what, let me just think on it a little bit. So then I phoned him up for now. This is new this is still New Year's Eve, bearing in mind. So now, wait, I, <laughs> see I get so mad about this, I missed that part. So then I'm still scrolling down now because I still wanted to see what else was on his Twitter. So then I'm scrolling down now and then I've seen a little message of him in Barcelona. He put up a little picture of him in Barcelona. And then I see a girl commenting underneath saying, Oh, so glad that we got to experience um, this. Did I love you so much, baby? And he's gone, Oh, love you too. Love you too. L love you too. You really think I was back in Berms? You telling me, Oh, no, I hope you're not talking to any other dudes. Da -da -da -da. All this stuff for you to be on holiday with our next bitch. Does my name look like dickhead for you to really be out here making me look like a dickhead? Like you're not the only person on my line for me. Making me. Big me. Ah, oh, listen, this story time. <laughs> it, it, sh it, sh I can't even, I can't even talk. I can't even talk right now. It pisses me off so much. So then, let's get back to the story. Back to where we left. So then... I phoned him up now and I was like, so is there anything that you think you want to tell me? He's like, what are you on about? I'm like, do you not think there's anything that you think you should tell me? I'm trying to give him the benefit of doubt here, you know, before I go full on psycho. Then he goes, oh, my got stuck. <laughs> so I go to him, is there anything that you think you should tell me? Then he's like, nah, what are you on about? So I've gone, so basically, my friend found you on Twitter now. So I paused, you know, giving him chance to say what he's got to say because he lied about being on social media for one. Secondly, I said, and I seen that you had internet when you was in Barcelona for two. For two, you know. <laughs> Secondly, thirdly, why are you posting up videos with you and the next girl? So then he's gone to me now. Oh, it was my birthday and it did it did oh uh, i didn't i you know that i didn't think nothing uh you didn't think nothing was wrong with that i said if you would have said to me whatever oh uh, i'm going on holiday or i just had one you know what i mean like it wasn't official like i can't get mad about it like that but it's just like the thing you didn't tell me like you didn't say anything this i had to go on social media and find out this like anyone could have saw that like i could have been telling people and you've actually made me look stupid like I don't understand, like, you was the one saying, I hope you're not talking to other people, da, 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 like, you want this to be more than what it is, and then you go and do that, like, really? Really? That was just stupid. So then, my man turns around now and goes, oh, it was just one girl from um, Barcelona, she didn't look like it was just one girl, because he was commenting underneath, my man can't answer me, bear story, and then my man turns around and says to me, uh uh really and truly um i don't feel like i have to justify myself to you you don't have to justify yourself to me you really have to justify myself to me my mom my dad everybody else and me on the phone are you stupid but you don't need to justify yourself to me yes you bloody do yes you bloody do and you must transfer that money that i sent for you to get the train ticket train all the way down to brum for you to not justify yourself to me oh, he goes i feel like 
he goes, I'll tell you in my own time. In your own time. In your own time. I don't want to bloody know. In your own time. I don't want to know then. I want to know now. Because I'm not a dickhead. So then, I said, you know what? I can't be bothered this. I'm not doing anything anymore. Do what you're doing. Boom. It was New Year's Eve. I wasn't even going to go out, you know. But after that, I was so pissed off. I was like, you know what? I have to go out because I need to get him and everything out of my system because he really pissed me off today. And I'm not trying to enter the new year with all these bad vibes so I said to my friend come let's go we went out boom we had a good time so six months later down the line uh, I get a message hi how are you obviously I didn't delete his number like I, I've never had no hard feelings to him like I'm just like I just was like I can't I just can't fuck with you no more you know what I mean like we just can't you know what I mean we just can't it just can't work no more so then I seen that I was like yeah I'm fine and then I didn't see no message after that so I'm like, cool, yeah, popped me up saying, how am I? Then I said that, no more conversation, really, six months down the line for you to just say that. Then I get a phone call, like, a week later. Hello? I'm like, he goes, he phones, he goes, I goes, hello? He goes, obviously in a London accent. Obviously, I was thinking, this must be a London accent, because I can tell by the accent. And he goes, yo. And then I was like, hello? Then he's like, oh, do you know who this is? And I'm like... I full on know well, I had the number seven and everything, I full on well know who it was. I was like, nah, what, who is this? And then he was like, oh, it's, um, what did I call this idiot now? He was like, it's Mill. I was like, oh, hi. Like, I don't, I don't know what he expected me to say on the phone. It's been six months, like, you think I was going to call the phone and say, oh, hi, you are right? Oh, I miss you so much. Uh, no. So then he was like, Oh, um, obviously I know it's been a long time and everything, whatever. I just wanted to apologise for the way how I left things. I really liked you and I didn't think that things was going to end like this. Did it, uh, what do you mean? Different things that I'm gonna, like, it's, you still didn't tell me, one, who the girl was. And then he's on the phone to me and he's just like, yeah, I just want to apologise. And I, think, I was like, well, that's good of you because some people will go. Some people actually go through their whole life and not feel no, no way about it. So I was like, that's nice that you said that, like. But still, what else do you want? Like, why are you still on the phone? Then I'm like thinking you could have texted him. Like, he's like, oh, I've been trying to ring you for weeks now. You really haven't because my number hasn't changed. Like, you texted me a week ago. I was like, I haven't seen them this because he's like, oh, I swear, mad. Uh, I've been texting you. Don't know you haven't. You texted me once. So after I was thinking, why are you still on the phone? He never said nothing. So then he was like, yeah, I just want to say, it's like, oh, well, you know, if you're free any time and you're in London or I'm in Burns, we should link up. And I was like, mm, yeah, maybe. And then he was like, oh, okay, all right, well, I'll let you go then. I was like, cool. You phoned me six months later. Like, I'm not saying I asked for it or anything, but you still didn't justify who the girl was. You said you were spending your own time. You still didn't justify who the girl was. You still didn't say, like, oh, anything about the whole situation yeah you apologize but what are you apologizing for like i don't get it like <sighs> i was really like in the lush i really liked you like what are you doing like could have been living our best lives right now but you really fucked up like so yeah like obviously i don't have nothing bad to say about him now like you're doing what you're doing, I'm doing what I'm doing, like, you know what I mean, like, just we're keeping it moving, but the way how you did, you fucked me over, and trust me, no one can ever take a piss like that again, like, it actually hurt, but on that note, I wish you the best, um, yeah, so, that was my experience of being a ciders, and being took for an idiot, and being finessed, by people might say, oh, it's only sixty pounds. Um, it was my sixteen pounds. Thank you very much. So I don't care how much it was. So yes, but anyways, I'm still blessed. I'm living life. Niggas ain't shit. But a chicken wing. So yes. Anyways, that is all. Don't forget to leave a comment or like the video. And subscribe to my channel, guys. Like, it's not gonna hurt you. Subscribe, please. Like, I'm acting nicely. I don't want to be rude. So, yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed this story time. Um, Mill. Obviously, that's not your real name, but obviously, you should know that this is about you. I know what your Twitter name is. I don't want to at you in it, but yeah. 
just know I found you on social media. I know who your social media is. Obviously, I don't look for you no more. Like, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Like, I really don't. Like, I moved on ages ago. But I just want you to know that, like, you fucked up. And, like, what you did was bad. So, yeah. But that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more story times, if you like this, if you have the same experience, especially me from Berms, imagine me all the way from Birmingham, nobody get on to me about my accent as well. I'm not trying to hear, I'm not here for my accent. I'm not, <laughs> revoke that, <laughs> revoke that. Listen, I'm not here for anyone trying to get onto my accent. Yes, I will confuse silly little Londoners. Don't try me, but yeah. But you know what, I just want to put out there, not all South guys are trash. I've actually met some that are really nice. Not my type, but someone nice. Probably I will get with a South Londoner. Maybe. Maybe. I don't put words in my mouth. Let me don't put words in your own mouth. I did say maybe. Make sure you add on the maybe because some of them are trash and I've heard a lot of finesse stories. So yeah. Make sure you're back in my next video because you know <laughs> it's gonna be some popping. But yeah guys, thanks. 